All right, guys, let's revisit this uh, Doom's Iron Grip because the guys were discussing it yesterday. Um, I know a lot of people don't watch my channel. Um, to put on your best attack for long range. Um, and, you know, your largest march. I'm not skilled for kills. I'm not going to worry about boosting, but the higher your attack, the better you're going to do. But, again, what we learned last time, and there's a video that I did not too long ago. You don't need one of everything to start off with. And you better have yourself a shielder. Um, and the mini guns do help because they block the snipers too. So I'll explain it to you when we watch the replay. So, video replay. <clears throat> Watch the shielders all the way on the far left. He doesn't get touched. He's the last to get touched. The battle goes for 33 seconds. You want as much damage in those 33 seconds. You see how my snipers are under the bubble, but they still haven't even been touched? After four seconds, the shielder will bubble another. Well, since he's still working on my laser cannons, he hadn't touched my artillery either. Another four seconds, boom, there goes your lasers. And then there's 33 seconds, the battle's completely over. It always ends at 33 seconds. If I had more snipers, or a bigger march, and higher ranged attack, that is how I'm going to get more points. So, the most, the far right rear... Is the last to be attacked. Let's show this one more time. Doesn't matter about front line. Because the monster's not killing them anyway. But. The, every time he hits. And he takes a few of the troops away. That that batch of troops. Hits. Um, doesn't hit as hard. Alright. Not by a lot. But every time you lose some. You're not packing as much of a punch. But the whole time, my snipers never get touched. So if I had those artillery in my sniper group, if I had more snipers, um, I'd be getting more points. So that is the simple understanding for you guys. Now, I just queued all. Let's see what the difference is going to be. I just hit and attacked everything with everything. Front line involved and all. Huge difference. There's no shielders. The shredders give a temporary boost or shielding effect. But the snipers are ordered getting me my points right now, but they're not being touched. So I didn't need a shielder. But if all I have is just snipers, then I just want to put one, one shielder in there. Um, you're still going to want, probably, I haven't had enough troops to do it that way. So I cannot speculate just yet. Now, instead of putting those mini guns, I could back up a sniper and, for five um, spaces room and put another artillery. So, yeah, I'm right back to my 63.4. Now, let's back down. Let's not put our mini gun in there. We'll just back down our snipers to add the artillery, whatever is necessary. 
So, yeah, I only need to bring it back down one. And I can add an artillery. And this is no shielders because we want to show the fact that the bubble on the snipers actually doesn't help the snipers at all because the snipers never get hit until 33 seconds is up when the doom kills everything. 63.3. So I've gone down, but that's probably because I'm wounded. So watch the snipers. There's no damage to them. So center troop goes first. So right now, my laser cannons are going untouched. My snipers are going untouched. The shielder's not doing anything for me. And then at 33 seconds, you're going to see the big boom. Kills everything. There it is. So, like I said, put as, have as big of a march as you can. Um, many snipers as you can. And the rest... Put, uh, you might even be able to just do snipers and, and a shielder, but the shielders are going to get knocked out. So you need to have at least, at least th two long range. All right. Thanks for watching guys and good luck.